Hello, sister. How are you? I'm not bad, thank yeah, you. Yeah, thank you for uh, agreeing with uh, to be filmed. Mm -hmm. um, and you mentioned you're from Palestine, right? Yeah. And uh, you've been living in the UK for a very long time? Uh, since 1999. 1999. And uh, you, you've gone through some sort of faith journey, right? I, I, I think so. I yeah. think it's just more that I'm getting older. Mm -hmm. um, ever since I was little, I mean, obviously I've been brought up in a Muslim household, but my parents were never strict with yeah. us. You know, you, they were never said, oh, you must wear a headscarf, you must yeah. wear... Yeah. They did all teach us how to pray, yeah. and we always knew how to pray, but they were never strict with us in terms of, mm. uh, I guess, modesty in terms of clothing. Mm. Um, and then obviously we came to this country and it became even less strict yeah. because yeah. of the westernized yeah, yeah, yeah. side of things yeah. um, but now that I'm getting older it was more the my own journey with God um, and I think mortality t tends to hit you a little bit because as you get older your body seems to fail you and then you think okay what what can I do to bring myself back to God and I think it was the week before Ramadan this year mm. I called my dad and I said look I really want to pray I want to start praying again but I don't want to feel like a hypocrite when I'm, I don't know, for example, if I go out and have a drink, an alcoholic drink, or um, because I don't dress modestly, I don't want to then go and pray and feel like a hypocrite. You know, will my salah be accepted? And my dad said, it doesn't matter what you do, just pray, and that will bring you closer to God, and yeah. that's what I have done. And um, yes, I'm still dressing un um, not modestly, but it's getting me closer to that sense of shame yeah so when i go outside and i'm dressed do you like feel, this do you feel that inner guilt within yourself 100 i feel guilty yeah. even if i miss a salah and i'm like I, I feel so guilty that i didn't pray or mm. even like coming out today um just before is it the horde prayer i thought oh i'm gonna pray it when i come back mm. and i said no i'm gonna pray it now and then i'm gonna go out I've done it at home before yeah. i started praying yeah. i said ashhadu an la ilaha illallah yeah, and uh, I'm not sure whether have anybody fully explained you fully, mm -hmm. fully know the meaning of this statement or. Yes, it means uh, that I, you know, I pray to God. There is no God but God, Allah, yeah. but Allah and Muhammad is His prophet yeah. and messenger. And, and and sister, I think uh, that the meaning of submission is truly true meaning of submission, which is means Islam is mm -hmm. you submit to Allah, mm -hmm. and submit means listen and obey the command of God mm -hmm. by following Prophet. Mm -hmm. So Allah said in the Quran, that obey whatever Prophet has given you, take it. And whatever Prophet has shown you, reject it. Mm -hmm. right? And that's the, that's the ultimate success because mm -hmm. the moment you start following Allah, mm -hmm. then you are actually, sorry, the moment you start following Prophet's message, mm -hmm. then you are actually following Allah. Mm -hmm. Because he is the messenger of Allah. Yeah. So the moment you follow the messenger, yeah. you are actually following the message. Yeah. And, and, I, and I feel it. I feel more at, yeah. more at peace now. Yeah. I feel more, yeah. I feel like, although, you know, I'm not, okay, I've not got the headscarf on, whatever, yeah. but I, I'm progressing towards mm -hmm. that way. And I feel peace with that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I think that's that is the drive that helped yeah. you, and that is the drive we believe that you know whoever holds iman, yeah. and Allah saying don't lose lost your hope basically, mm -hmm. um, you know you will get mercy of Allah. Mm -hmm. You have to keep hoping mm -hmm. and keep working on it. Yeah. So I mean sometimes we can sit back and relax and hoping that mm -hmm. uh, the guidance will come yeah. in full force. Mm -hmm. That ain't gonna happen. No, you have you, you have, have to, to do yeah, something yourself yeah. as well. Exactly, exactly. So, and Allah said, you know, uh, He will not do any injustice to any soul, mm -hmm. but He keep reminding us, keep ask me, I will help you. Keep mm -hmm. ask me, I will help you. Mm -hmm. Call me, I'll respond to you. Mm -hmm. So I am closer to you, uh, your your jugular vein. Mm -hmm. So Allah, Allah keep asking you to remember Him, so mm -hmm. that you know He can He can show uh, show you the uh, the. the that true way mm -hmm. and just imagine a mother's love right mm -hmm. a mother's love is even conditional some mm -hmm. people say it's unconditional mm -hmm. but I say conditional why because the moment mother feeds her children mm -hmm. she actually find a satisfaction mm -hmm. and that satisfaction is a pleasure yeah but when Allah send you the food mm -hmm. and the, all the blessing mm -hmm. 
it doesn't decrease him mm-hmm. or increase him in his status mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he is giving out everything out of his divine kudra or the mercy mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. he is not benefiting mm-hmm. by providing me and you sustenance mm-hmm. no right he didn't just create us and left us without food and imagine he le- he created you and left you without food yeah life would be like very it difficult would be, yeah it would be hell yeah it would be hell yeah so so allah's mercy and, and blessing is within our surrounding mm-hmm. you know and mm-hmm. we live with the mercy of god because yeah. allah if allah doesn't send rain you know imagine rain stop yeah we'd have no crops we'd have no food the, that means everyone yeah. done yeah. finish yeah the time of this world is over yeah so it's just how important that blessing yeah. of the rain yeah just think about the blessing of oxygen like mm-hmm. allah has not sent any direct debit mandate to you no. and everyone right. to okay i'm giving you oxygen give me some money back yeah so allah said you know he doesn't want those worldly desire yeah but allah saying if you don't even worship me mm-hmm. it will not decrease him or increase him mm-hmm. but you should worship him because you have to be grateful yeah and if you become grateful <laughs> you will most likely to get attain mercy of god mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that mercy will save you from the eternal suffering right mm-hmm. so therefore i would encourage any muslim and non muslim yeah. to seek the path yeah and um, and be a a slave of god than the mm-hmm. a slave of society mm-hmm. you know society become Uh, a god mm-hmm. because it replaced the uh, yeah. uh, godly stuff yeah. you know people are worshiping what yeah. society is telling them to do yeah. but instead them they're rejecting god's command and following yeah. the society and look that's why yeah. the the chaos in the society right yeah. uh, the society is failing yeah every direction everything everything every no, direction right. yeah? Yeah. yeah yeah so the only way we can fix that by bringing back to the our original state mm-hmm. which is the true submission to allah mm-hmm. and the the moment you make a true submission mm-hmm. that means you will follow the command of god mm-hmm. in the society mm-hmm. and the moment you start applying in the society mm-hmm. you can see the peace and tranquility and contentment mm-hmm. yeah. everywhere yeah. and uh, unfortunately uh, we have too many false god out there yeah we have too many false ideology out yeah. there that's why allah said you know before accepting allah as a creator you have to reject the false god yeah. that's what means in shahada isn't it yeah. so i think you know uh, the message is very simple sister you know i mean as a as a sister i would you know recommend you maybe maybe read some for fun yeah. yeah. into journey this life yeah. is very temporary sister yeah we don't know when we will pass out you know yeah you know we thinking about making plan 5 year 10 years later yeah let alone we cannot make um we cannot confirm that whether we will be alive in next hour yeah or next minute yeah i mean just think about one thing yeah mm-hmm. just think about you know the oxygen yeah we don't grow it Mm-mm. we don't own it Mm-mm. we don't made it Mm-mm. then it was given free Mm-mm. now if imagine some entity is giving you free all of those things and suddenly say no i don't want to give you any more i want to take it back should we complain then well no we should be grateful that they gave it to us in the first place first place so yeah. often we see people when they find difficulties in their life mm-hmm. they reject first point they never appreciated when all the good things were allah given to them mm-hmm. the moment they were hit by trial you know they start saying ah why god is doing that mm-hmm. so if you are sincere in first place you should have thanked god mm-hmm. for the blessing mm-hmm. rather than become a complaint maker yeah yeah you see the standard yeah yeah, yeah. so, uh, uh, so I, w- i would like to say something to yeah. anyone who is non muslim yeah You see a lot of videos of non-Muslims here in the Adan or mm. the Quran yeah. and then it them bringing them peace. Yeah. I would say to them just just listen to it because it does bring you peace and hopefully yeah. it will take you onto the path of Islam. Yeah, yeah. And for Muslims who are struggling with their faith, I yeah. would say to them just take the first step like I did. Mm. I'm not, you know, proclaiming to be a perfect Muslim, mm. but I my, I am building up my relationship yeah. with God again and hopefully inshallah he will accept. Yeah. 
And no, I, think, I, I think it's very profound what you have said, what sister, that uh, azan, azan, if we explain the azan, azan means it is loudly uh, telecasted to the community mm -hmm. in five daily prayers, mm -hmm. reminding people, first lines, Allah saying, Allah, Allah saying that you should say Allah Akbar, mm -hmm. means Allah is great, mm -hmm. means everything you see, nothing compared to Allah. Mm -hmm. He is the ultimate maker, mm -hmm. so praise him, Allahu mm -hmm. Akbar. Mm -hmm. Then, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, then you testify there is no God but Allah. Mm -hmm. So when Allah, this is telecasting, mm -hmm. the community is hearing. So it's not only a prayer call, mm -hmm. it also calling people or mm -hmm. telling people, oh people, mm -hmm. Allah is your maker. Mm -hmm and Muhammad is a messenger of God. Mm -hmm. And then Allah said, Hayya ala, you know, in the Azan he say, Hayya ala salah, mm -hmm. mean come to prayer. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, the next one, next command was, or next call is, Hayya ala falah, come to success. Mm -hmm. Success doesn't mean that you go to prayer and you get some money. No. Success means no. that you are saving from you, yourself from the suffering mm -hmm. that could be befall on many people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we know from the tradition of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the Jahannam will be full mm -hmm. of people. Mm -hmm. And Jahannam will be not be people of grateful people. Mm -hmm. It will be ungrateful people. Mm -hmm. Right? And um, yeah, I'd just like to share one incident. You know, one night Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was praying. And Aisha radiallahu anha was saying, why, why are you praying so much? Mm -hmm. And Allah has forgiven your past and present and the future sin. And the Prophet said, should I not be grateful? That is a very profound statement. And I think that is the question we should ask everyone. Am I grateful to Allah? And that's a very big question. You are grateful to everything you receive in this world. But all the free things you receive, have you ever shown any gratitude? They, that is a well, big, I, big, big I, I think that's what they struggle with. They, they think, oh, well, because oxygen is free and it's, 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 it's your right as a human to breathe it. They don't feel grateful because they don't see it as someone physically giving it to them. Like a doctor saves your life. You're going to be thankful, no? But it wasn't the doctor that saved your life. It was up to God. But people will thank the doctor. Thank you so much for saving my life. Thank you, thank you. And they'll be forever grateful to him. Yeah. But they're not grateful to the maker who saved yeah. your life and chose for, for, for that point in time for your life not to be taken away. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, imagine when doctor tells some, some patient that you will be only, you have only maybe three weeks left. Mm -hmm. Then they start realizing, whoa, it's too late, right? Mm -hmm. But Allah is telling you, mm -hmm in every page or every other page in the Quran mm -hmm. that, you know, your life is, will come to an end very shortly. Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah, fix yourself before it's too yeah. late, right? And also, but you're not believing that. No. But the moment doctor tell you, yeah. you start believing that. 100%. You and see? also, doesn't God say that it's not too late unless, unless it's death? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you can repent even before death. Yeah, yeah. So, it, but you know, but it's, it's, it, you don't want to take it to the last hour. No, of course not, because it has to be about true intention. I, I, yeah. I understand. No, no, I yeah. Because that there will be a, a, a regret. They will say to Allah, "Qala when they realize they are short mm -hmm. and they should have done more than what should have do, mm -hmm. did. Mm -hmm. Then the regret will not help them. Mm -hmm. 